For the longest time, quad rails or Picatinny rails have been the master at rail mounting solutions due to their durability, their consistency at holding zero, their overall reliability, but MLOC is stepping up to the plate. I mean, quite simply, it's the modern solution. But at one point in time, something rivaled MLOC. What? Oh no, you were a mistake. Let's talk about the top five MLOC rails. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms, here to talk about probably one of the most important accessories on your rifle that you didn't realize you need, the rail. And specifically for today's top five video, we're going to be talking about the M-Lock rail, because M-Lock is, well, I can't really say it's the future, it's the present, it's now, it's here, and uh, the only thing that's really the future is the innovation of how to make M-Lock better, and that really just comes down to the rail itself. So I've picked five pretty unique rails that we're going to talk about today that I think are just absolutely awesome. Uh, Ryan and I talked a little bit about this, about some of the ones that are out there. And uh, well, let's just go ahead and roll into it. My number five pick, Cloud. The core rail, the Cloud Optimized Rail. This is pretty interesting because, well, it takes your standard BCM type of barrel nut and locking system, but the rail itself actually has, uh, it allows you to integrate your switches for lights, lasers, and all that tactical high-speed stuff into the rail itself. Instead of it just being Picatinny, which is mounting right on top, like what you see right here with the PEC-15, it's actually got cuts through it that allow you to actually sit a little bit, uh, I guess you'd say closer to the barrel, and that allows you to have a better field of view. You don't have as much stuff sitting as high up on the gun. But if you're shooting like uh, just in line with your iron sights, whether it be you know exact or absolute co-witness versus like lower one third, every now and then you can actually see, for instance, if I'm looking through my EOTech here on the SCAR 16, I can pick up the PEC 15 here. And this is the EXPS, which is sitting a little bit higher as well with the QD mount. But the way this rail works, again, we're talking about ARs here, not exactly SCARs, I get it. But the way this works is that allows that little cut for whatever type of you know switch or device you might be running to sit a little bit lower on the gun, which I think is really cool. So it's a little bit more of a slim line look. So they've got the V1 and the V2, but it's rumored or it sounds like they're coming out with the V3. So I'm excited to see what that has to offer. And on top of that, it allows you to use cloud products, uh, streamlight products, surefire products. It's not just cloud defensive products that you get to use. And by the way, we like cloud defensive over here because they actually, you know, let's just say they support the second amendment and those that aren't trying to infringe upon it. So anyway, thanks cloud. That's my number five pick. My number four pick is pretty interesting because, well, I recently got to use some Arca rails and thought that was pretty neat. And we kind of also said, wouldn't it be kind of cool if there was like a uh, combination of M-Lock and an Arca rail? So maybe like on a DMR gun or something like that, if you wanted to run that, you could. Wouldn't you know it though, CMT, Cross Machine Tool, has the HDM A2 rail, which is just that. So nothing really all that fancy, except that it's a durable rigid rail and it has the Arca adapter on the six o'clock position with M-Lock in the middle as well. So you can run grips if you want, but you could also just quickly slide in and out of tripods, bipods, whatever it might be. And it's super easy to do that. So the cross machine tool, 7075 aluminum, it's gonna be dur durable, lightweight still, I think coming in at like 13 ounces. So not the lightest thing in the world, but again, if you're going for more of a precision type of shooting, which if you're utilizing an Arca rail, you probably are. And if you're not familiar with like what an Arca rail is, stand by. Imagine on this Ruger that you see right here, ultimately the exact same thing. You've got the Arca compatibility on the bottom, which allows you again to slide in and out of bipods, tripods, or other type of mounting solutions, but with the integrated M-Lock. But instead of having this big thing, what is this, 300 PRS, something like that, uh, it's for an AR, so I thought that was kind of cool. So, CMT, Cross Machine Tool, and their HDM A2. My number three pick is similar to the Geisler URGI rail, but better? <laughs> it's been reinforced. Uh, put it this way, it's not gonna bend, all right? Uh, and I'll explain what I mean by that here in just a moment, but the LDR-1 by Ripcord Industries is a pretty neat rail. Uh, you can tell here that we've got a pretty built out AR. This is uh, one of Ryan's personals that makes me a little jealous, not gonna lie, but it does have the ADM lower, VL Tor upper, and then 
the Ripcord Industries LDR1 rail. Now, they make this for just about every barrel length that you can imagine. And so on this 13.9 rifle that you see right here, it meets right up perfectly for the Surefire SOCOM. It's not making contact with the rail, but as you can tell, it is the perfect length. It just makes sense. Awesome. What does it look like without it? There you have it, right there. Right, so it looks good, it's nice and clean, super lightweight. And what you might be looking here is you're thinking like these are grip panels. It's not the case, that's actually all metal. They just put like some skateboard grip deck or grip tape on it. Uh, and well, now you've got yourself a reinforced rail and you might be thinking, well, I'm losing those rail slots. And? <laughs> My hand's gonna go here anyway, that's fine. But I still have the six o'clock M-lock mounting position, so if I wanted to throw a grip here or whatever else it might be, I can do that and be able to run this. But it's like they thought about where you're actually, the ergonomics behind it, where you're actually gonna be gripping the rail. And as you can tell, it's nice and thin, easy for me to wrap my hands all the way around this, which makes it really easy to drive this rifle. And again, lightweight. QD mounting solutions for your sling, and ultimately just a really sturdy, clean, slim rail. I, uh, I'm a fan. So, number three pick, Ripcord Industries, LDR1. My number two pick is coming from Knights. Anyway, they're fine, but ultimately they make really good products. And uh, Knights with the Yarex 4 rail. What's really unique about this rail, it does have its M-Lock, Picatinny up top, great, all that type of fun stuff. QD mounting solutions towards the rear of the rail, but yeah, it's pretty much a basic rail, and having shot quite a few of the SR-15s and whatnot, it feels very, very good. It's durable. But what makes it truly unique is the fact that there's actually no separate barrel nut. The barrel nut is integrated and attached to the rail itself, and it comes with a special installation tool that allows you to actually screw this on and mount the rail to the upper receiver, and it also holds the barrel in place. And it does come with different shims just to make sure you have everything lined up exactly as it should. Uh, of course you want the 12 o'clock at the 12 o'clock and 6 at the 6, right? So you, it is a really unique mounting solution because you just don't really typically see that. Typically you have your separate barrel nut and then you have to you know thread that on and then you thread on the rail and so on and so forth, right? So it's really cool that they did that. And it's a sturdy design. It's, uh, it's like as monolithic as you can get if you're gonna have a separate rail. It's, it's not monolithic at all, but you get what I'm saying. So, speaking of which, that can kind of lead me to my honorable mentions. And their honorable mentions, they didn't make the list quite so because they're proprietary. You, you, you're not gonna be able to just buy these rails and throw them on whatever type of AR you want, but they are definitely quality. One of which is LWRCI's rails. This is what they call Mono Forge. So even though the rail itself is separate from the upper receiver, and for those of you that don't know, monolithic means that the upper receiver and the rail are all one piece. This is kind of a hybrid for that. And that's why I kind of went that way with the URX4 by Knights. Uh, but what you'll see here is that this piece of the upper doesn't look like your standard AR-15. It's actually just bulged right here. Uh, you'll see that the upper receiver sticks out a little bit further than what most of your AR-15 uppers do, and the rail actually mounts directly to that piece. Very interesting, super sturdy, and I'm a big fan of these rails personally. Uh, first of all, they just work really, really well. Uh, QD, where you need it to be for slings, and they just feel great. And LWRCI just makes a fantastic rifle. With that being said, my other honorable mention is the actual monolithic upper receiver uh, by Lewis Machine and Tool. LMT just makes superior products, fantastic products, uh, but you know it's a whole upper receiver that you'd be getting. You know it's going to be great, you know it's going to be durable, you know it's going to be expensive, but that's because you are getting what you pay for when it comes to this. And uh, we, uh, we're going to be having some fun with one of those soon, I think. Uh, but anyway, LMT is my next honorable mention. My number one pick, Daniel Defense's R3 Rail. And they recently announced the R3 system. It's going to be your ambidextrous lower receivers. And on top of that, ultimately the RIS 2 Rail, the rail integrated system, with that six nut locking mechanism that you have right back here, which makes it super durable, very tough, probably the toughest in the industry, if I'm being honest. But M lock. And having seen it in person, felt it, haven't really shot any of the R3 guns yet, I'm pretty impressed with it. So Dano Defense's R3 rail, again, if you're familiar with the RIS-2 rails that have been very, very popular, then you'll definitely identify and recognize 
that six nut locking system right back here towards the rear of the gun, just like what you see whenever you're aiming down the sights of your M4A1 on Call of Duty. You'll notice that off to the side, uh, but M lock. And that's exactly what you have. It's still robust, still a pretty thick rail, uh, which again, I kind of like. Uh, just the ergonomics behind it, super nice. And they make it for all sorts of different barrel lengths, which is great. So your full size length, uh, they even make like an 11.5 length uh, for those 11.5 guns, I should say, 11 inch, I believe. But anyway, pretty awesome stuff that uh, Daniel is coming out there. So yeah, that's my top five and some more when it comes to rails for the AR-15 that are M-Lock. Uh, we've covered a lot in our different videos all about different types of rail systems, mounting systems, talked about different types of lowers and uppers and barrels and whatnot. What other component of the AR rifle would you like to see us cover as far as the top five goes? Just uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget too, to head on over to classicfirearms.com to check out all of our Second Amendment offerings, including firearms and ammunition and accessories and whatever else it might be that you need for your range day goodness. And uh, one last thing I want to remind you too is go out there and support your Second Amendment rights. Follow up and uh, support organizations like Gun Owners of America, Firearms Policy Coalition, Second Amendment Foundation. There's a, quite a few of them out there that are actually standing up for your rights and fighting for them. So go out there, donate 20 bucks here and there and do something. Call your local politicians and make sure that, you know, they're on board with representing you and your rights. If not, vote them out. Anyway, I'll leave it off there, guys. Make sure, again, classicfarms.com to get your entries in for our current giveaway. It's uh, also features an M-Lock rail, but it's a very short one. It's the uh, Sig Rattler and 300 Blackout that you see right here with the EOTech XPS2, EXPS2. So that one does have that QD mount like I was talking about with the tan one up here on the SCAR-16. This is considered a pistol with a pistol brace. I don't know, funny laws, right? But uh, anyway, it's a good one. Utilize the code word that you see at the bottom of the screen that you see right now to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries. Don't miss out on that, guys. And as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.